welcome to the spin gold final 30 deals to go well, this seems to be board two i don't know what happened to board one so then 29 deals counting this one fleischer uh are east west of this table no names north south uh Nystrom and upmark for the braymark team uh, you see a very obstructive auction by east west but i approve uh nobody vol i actually let's see east pass south open a diamond i might have well i think i would have bid two spades with the west hand not at all so anyway north made a negative double north could have bid two clubs planning to bid hearts later east very weak race but white on red why not south double to show who knows what and west three spades knowing they have nine trumps now i'm sure three spades would get killed now at this even at this vulnerability it might be too much how many hearts can north south make well on this layout six they can make 1430 be pretty optimistic to bid it though it, it's not what's well, it okay okay six um more normal might be 680 so three spades doubled would go down a million let's see they lose two spades two hearts diamond and maybe three clubs so it might go down 800 anyway north south aren't going to defend so it's just a question of whether north south stop in four hearts or get to six hearts So we're told East and West are Cementa and Versace, great Italian players. North South are Swedish players. So a very European flavor here. It's very late in Europe. Uh, so it looks like they are going to reach six hearts North South, which is good for the Braemark team. So I think they're going to make it. Looks like uh, we missed a one no Trump contract on the first deal, I, I, at least at my internet connection. We just got on a minute ago and missed the first deal. So trying for seven. I don't see where they ever agreed hearts as the Trump suit, though. Maybe they're heading towards six diamonds, which will also make hearts are three, two one diamond honors on side well somehow they figured out that they're in hearts so there's a good chance that west will lead a spade from the king and that'll make things even easier If the Queen of Spades wins and declare George Trumps and plays a diamond, finesse losing. Well, he can't really go wrong. So this is going to be 1430, a nice result. Double shows four hearts. South double showed four hearts. How interesting. Why not? I don't know. I would just bid three hearts with hearts. So whatever so the view graph operator is supposed to put in the players names and we found out this morning we got last minute view graph operators who might not be too experienced So I'd say this is a reasonable slam, probably above 50%. Um, you know, if hearts are three, two, one diamond on or on side, and you have a few little extra. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable.
that's funny the view graph operator says Versace did not realize it was his lead well at least we know now West is Versace so the queen will win and I I mean whether to declare George Trump first or plays a diamond first it's not obvious to me dummy reversal well in the written commentary there's no such thing as a dummy reversal in a 4-4 fit a a dummy reversal is when you trump in the long hand several times uh to get extra tricks often like it's a 5-3 fit and you'll trump in the five card hand three times uh when you have a 4-4 four, four fit, there, there's no such thing as a dummy reversal. So Rick, Rick Three Sun, thanks for the comment, but. Okay, so it's decided to draw Trump and work on diamonds. Now he does have a pitch um, for a diamond from the dummy. So even, you know, after that spade lead, even if the king and queen of diamonds are, are wrong, he's got a pitch from dummy and then he can throw the ten of spades on the ace of clubs. So he's in really good shape here. Yeah, the queen of clubs falls, but I don't think we're going to get to that because I don't think he's going to work on clubs. He, he's just trying to set up his diamonds. He's, he's not going to try to set up dummies cl clubs. He's, you know, the diamonds is a better suit. That's why he's working on the diamond suit. You can see in the written commentary, yes, the second quarter was very swingy, only at one table. Well, the table I was at was very normal, and the other table was all over the place, creating swings both direction. The Holt and Braymark against Fleischer and Martell. Mostly Holt, Holt and Braymark were creating the swings. Fleischer and Martell had somewhat normal results. play a low diamond to the nine or run the ten of diamonds or low, no diamond to the jack and then repeat the finesse to make the contract. If they're in six hearts, which it looks like they will be in six hearts. Yeah. yeah. So it's a sort of definitely betting favorite that the diamonds come in with only one loser. But then, of course, hearts have to come be three, two, at least not jack fourth in order for to slam to make. So it's not clear exactly how good a slam it is. Yeah. No, but it looks like it's a slam that makes. Yes. So did they get to it at the other table? We don't know. So this is the beginning of, uh, we can't see the other table yet. So we're ahead of the other table probably. I looked at the other table and my guess from what I've seen so far in the auction was that they were going to get to it. I'm not sure whether they're going to get to hearts or diamonds, but it looks like they're going to get to one of the slams. And diamonds can make by roughing one spade and pitching one I was one just going to say, is diamonds, is diamonds a better place than hearts in case hearts are 4-1? Yeah, I mean, probably not, because it's not clear that the clubs will come into play. Right, but if you play in diamonds well you either need to rough yeah okay you either need to rough two spades yeah yeah well i need to rough one yeah, yeah. so they did make it at the other table they were in six hearts making it six hearts table. yes okay i don't see any reasonable line that goes down in six hearts here i agree because you know as it turns out of course hearts are not for one so they don't have to deal with that problem. A 
Okay, that was a good first play. So I think if, I mean, the first play to me would be just a heart to the ace. It's a possibility of wanting to get the king of clubs out of there. Not that we're going to rough any clubs. Just right, to... right, right. So you could get rid of one club on the, one spade on the ace and rough one spade, basically. Yeah. The Claire may be thinking about various 4-1 diamond situations. This is exactly how to play the diamonds. Okay, well, we went with a heart to the ace. On top of it, I called a heart to the ace, and he played a heart to the ace. He could have played a heart to the queen, but he didn't. He heard me say a heart to the ace. Good job, Marty. <laughs> Good listening, Marty. So is he going to cash the king of hearts yet for, first before playing a diamond, you think? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think king of hearts. Oh, he played a diamond. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't cash it. Okay. So he's playing for no singleton diamond or no way to. Well, if there's a singleton diamond in his hand, he's in bad shape. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he does want to make sure that he can handle eight uh, if, if East had the remaining diamonds at this sure. point. Yeah, it's looking pretty good for Declara right now. It would be a bit tricky if King eight small of diamonds were still in East hand. If there's a spade played back now. got word at the other table that it was also six hearts with the spade lead, but it was six hearts south with the spade lead, giving the queen of spades immediately as a trick. I spade see. You had. I see. You still need to double finesse the diamonds, but you may have, you have less entry problems, maybe less stress. Right. Okay, so now you cash the King of Hearts, I think. I think you have to, uh, let's see. Oh, my God. Oh, no, that's good. Okay. Yeah. So you cash the you get, get rid of the club so that you can pitch the. And play a hard game. Okay, then, I like it. I like it. So that was that on block. I just, I just did the suggestion you doing it earlier than it needed yeah. to be done. And he may play diamonds now. Just in case, yes. yeah, he did. Just in case it's like you said, King Eight. And I don't think he's gonna miss cast, no. Okay. Well, now, it's, now you just cash the Queen of Hearts and claim. So it's a nice push to start the with. Start mm -hmm. the So I understand there were mixed feelings about the spin gold experiment. With, so here we have a part score hand. 
All right, what is happening here? One club, one space. So we're not. It's not going to be the same exact contract since we played in one no trump at the other table. So these guys are opting for a club suit, a club game, a club partial. So in three clubs, we have a heart loser, we have a club loser, we have a spade loser, and we may or may not have a diamond loser. So it looks like three clubs will probably make either three or four. And so we might pick up, uh, north-south will pick up an imp. Uh, yeah, north-south north, south will pick up an imp. Yeah. There might be trouble rough, roughing spades and dummies. So there might, there might be one more loser than people. Than you think, yeah. right. It also, yeah. But the player could guess diamonds for four tricks. That's right. So I would, I mean, if it was, I, I would, I would duck this spade trick. So would I. I'm not worried about any. But other I mean, one. I'm, I'm seeing that there's two spades on the right. So maybe you know, could be that lefty has six spades, but he didn't bid two spades. And if each roughs a spade, it will be a losing spade. You might get the trick back later mm -hmm. anyway. Mm -hmm. If he's rough the second spade, now you know you can at most only make three, right? Because you have a club loser, you'll you you'll have lost two spades, and you have a heart loser no matter what you do. I guess now you could pitch your heart on the fourth diamond. That's true. No, he won it. So there you go. Okay. So if they play spade, spade, the player will have to guess the club suit. But they're not doing that. So let's see, he's going to use lost a heart, a club. He's going to lose a heart, a spade. So it looks like he's going to be making three. I will probably just, once clubs are three, two, will probably just take them and set up the diamonds to guarantee the contract. Right. But for entry reasons, you might not guess diamonds correctly. Well, is it right to just play Ace King of Diamonds and then just give up a diamond? Well, I mean, you're only going to lose one diamond, but if you could, you could play Ace King from the top, or you just play. I my instinct would be to play Ace of Diamonds, Jack of Diamonds, finessing if it's not covered. Uh, huh? Oh, he does, does pick it up, okay. Well, the good news about playing Ace-King is Queen Doubleton in either hand works. If you play Ace of Diamonds, Jack of Diamonds, and it's Queen Dalton on your left, you still don't have four diamond tricks. So 
So we lost a club. He lost a club, a heart, and a spade. Okay, so one imp. One imp. Making three or four was both going to be one imp. Right. We were, this was an academic discussion. It was a one imp. Oh, seven spades. I love hands like this, although this one doesn't seem so exciting. Seems like a pretty boring seven spades as far as seven spades goes. The play is. Maybe the bidding might be interesting. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I look at the hand. I'm excited to see seven spades, and I look at it again, and I'm like, yeah, not much to do here. So we have two diamonds and two clubs and two hearts, two, four, six, and then one, two, three, four, seven spades, six and seven. That's 13. They win style points if they bid seven no trump. That's right. I don't think that'll happen, though. Very good. All right, let's see. There's a seven no break or something, which would give a... Yeah. Give somebody a rough on the opening lead. Very unlikely, but. Did they start with three spades at the other table? Do you know? I can look it up. Yes. And four clubs looks like it's probably some sort of key card. A lot of people play that over a preant, four clubs ask for key cards. And it's called, and that's you know, exactly what happened at the other table. Yeah. And so it's it's a preemptive key card. So the answers are a little bit different than regular key card. Most people play it's zero, one key card without the Queen of Trumps, one key card with the Queen of Trumps, two without and two with. So in this case, he's he has one key card without, which of course... Um, East has. He has the Queen of Trumps. So he's four diamonds. So, right. So four diamonds would have been zero key cards. Four hearts is one without. The key so card. Point, if, if these can ask for a king, that would be the 13th trick. Right. So the. Um, I forgot what I was going to say, but it obviously wasn't that important. If he asked for the king and their style would imply that they always have seven spades on this auction, he can bid the seven no trump. There's a chance you might get seven spades even without knowing about the king, just saying there's got to be so many chances there for a 13th trick. Right. So East here has a 26-point hand, but in the second set, we actually saw a West hand with 30 high card points. Wow. Maybe the most I've ever seen in. Wow. Where are you right now? Where do you, where are you sitting? I am, I am about two miles from the hotel. I live oh, in, you're Chicago. in Chicago. Yeah. So I, I didn't come it. into the hotel today. I'm just commenting from home. Got it. Chicago is a beautiful city. It's been a wonderful tournament, wonderful restaurants. Weather was beautiful most of the time. There was a couple days early where it was raining, but other than that, it was really beautiful weather. Um, there's so many cool attractions, so it really has been a, a really great nationals. And it really feels back to normal for nationals. Oh, good.
Okay, it's taken quite a while here. Really longer than it should. By the way, the social event Wednesday was nice. I think social events are important at nationals. The, yes. The game night. Yeah, the game night was super fun. I really, you know, we're, we're, we're definitely going to do more things like that. And, and you know, nationals, it could be done at regionals. I mean, it, it's really, you know, it's not so hard to have people bring in a few games from home or, you know, and then and, and just be together, put a, get a Bluetooth speaker, play some music. You know, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be... Um, Only been six spades here. Wow. I guess he couldn't imagine his partner having King Jack seventh of spades in the King of Clubs, but could have had the Queen of Diamonds, and that would have been enough. I mean, I can't. I, I, this I don't understand. I can not making some other bid. I mean, I don't. I'm, I'm not used to playing key card over preempts, but. You still have a king ass, don't you? You know, I don't know their system. I'm not going right. to tell you no, that. I don't know about yeah, their system. I don't know. But this is... I will say the play will go faster than the bidding. In the second set, there were, well, maybe three hands. Well, I can't remember, I can't remember which, which was in which sets, but in the second set, there were two hands where seven was cold, and one pair bid seven and one pair only bid six. But it was switched, but it was each one for one team, so that the overall was splitting the boards. But East West seems to be getting a lot of seven contracts in this match. Right. Some of the kibitz are saying Forno Trump surely would be a king ask. I agree that Forno Trump sounds like it would be a king ask. So that makes sense to me. So yeah. I think he's going to claim here. Yep. He's claiming 13 imps to Fleischer. Okay. New leader. I'm sure it's disappointing to be dealt such a huge hand and then, you know, not necessarily make the best of it. I feel, I feel for the players. This is the time I'd really like to have some sort of ESP mechanism or something so that we would know what East was thinking to come to this conclusion. Okay. View graph is complete. Table will close in one minute. Why, they only play four boards at a time? That was, no, that's, that's, that must be there's some error or something that they're correct. Okay. I don't know. But, but it's supposed to go, go straight 15 boards. It has succeeded to do so in a number of the sets. The kibitz are asked me, would West preempt vulnerable with no other card? Well, first, I don't know West well enough to say things for sure. Well, my answer is maybe West would, but what we could have asked to see if what West has another card. So I, I still don't understand what's happening here.
Okay. Are you there? Can I'm here. Okay, great. So yeah. what happened here? So we've missed, uh, did we miss anything? Well, we haven't missed anything. I'm not sure what we're going to get once it comes up. I was, with, I was talking about the bidding problem. The bidding started with each bidding one spade. So with the south hand, what do you bid after each bid op opens one spade? With the south hand? Yes. I don't bid anything. Are we on board five? They're, they have some fake hands in there right now. This is what you're seeing, what I'm seeing. I see a pretty normal hand. Oh, I don't see a normal hand. Maybe leave and come back. Okay. Okay, good, thanks. I was. I had that same hand with everyone had 13 cards in one suit. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, okay. I, had the right, I had the right auction with the wrong cards. Gotcha. Weird. This seems pretty normal. I think so. I think they're going to play four hearts. I don't think this is a very good slam. Well, is it? It's not so bad. You just... Actually, it's not a bad slam from... Uh... From the east, which is where it would be being played, right? Because you can just set up. Do you have enough pitches? You don't have that many trumps. Oh, yeah, and trumps are 4-1. Hmm. Uh, Spades break and King of Diamonds actually on side. I mean, it may be, but I'm not sure it's, it's a really good slam. No. I don't think it is. Well, there are, nobody's in it anyway, so we're playing four hearts at both tables, so probably be four hearts making six. I mean, you're missing the king of spades. You're missing the king of diamonds. You only have eight trumps. You only have seven spades. And you're missing the nine of hearts, which makes roughing clubs in one hand, not so, not so inviting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ten of diamonds. Okay. Well, that will make it easier to take. That will not put, yeah, that will not put a lot of fear in Declare's uh, world. The club lead and the four-one heartbreak might have prevented twelve tricks. Declare might have played safer with fewer tricks. It might be best just to tell you he's going to draw a couple. I would say draw, he probably he probably is going to draw two rounds and then run the queen of spades. Then the queen of spades. Oh, draw, I, I was thinking of running the queen immediately, but maybe drawing two rounds and then doing so might be better. He might draw three rounds. Now he's got to draw another round. So he's going to run the queen of spades and they're going to win the uh, king and play back the last heart. Quite any possibly. Matters. And he might be. Oh, he plays a diamond. I mean, even the, di the nine of diamonds is a brutal card.
Well, the Knight of Diamonds means the player can take the rest of the tricks, but it wasn't clear that was the best thing to do, so I, I'm not surprised. Right, no, but I'm saying the fact that you had 10 Nine of Diamonds and the dummy's Queen Jack 8 is makes you have zero diamond tricks on defense, basically. Right. But if South so Richard Club was... I, mean, I wonder if it was a real claim. No, if, if he doesn't replay back a diamond, I think Declare has to take that finesse, pinning the nine at some time. And that might not have happened. I don't know. We'll never know. We'll never know. So I do have a copy of East West's convention card. Unfortunately, it's in Swedish. So one club double, you know, get in quickly. Get in right away when you can. Especially non-vulnerable, I think, in these cases. What was vulnerable is when you get pushed into a high-level, high not even a game, but a high-level um, hard score when you have really bad hands. Those, not, those vulnerable over tricks can pile up. But, um, looks like North just has an invitational bid here. Yeah, but an invitational in what? I would just bid one heart. Yeah, I would just bid one heart. You just bid one heart, okay. Well, I'm not bidding two hearts on this because, I mean, if my partner bids again, you know, I might do something, but I can't, I don't, I have a terrible hand. I'm four triple three. You know, queen jack third of clubs is certainly nothing great. I'm not going to pass. Point, you've, shown, you've shown zero points. Right. I would bid again here. I mean, you might double here. You know, you have the maximum one heart bid you could have, and the opponents are red. Right. Things are actually sitting pretty good for East West, right? The, the King of Hearts is. So they, if they do, I mean, if. If North doubles, I think South will now bid two hearts. They will not pass. Well, I'm sure about that. Mm -hmm. uh, but most hands on this competitive auction, South will bid two hearts over two clubs with the four-card support. I mean, it's, a, it's just a, such a really bad hand that South chose not to. Right. So now it's going to go double past two hearts. There you go. So I like the way that... Uh, Chip bid the hand. That's kind of. I think that's kind of what I would have done. No, I might have bid two hearts, and I would have probably have gotten the three clubs from. I might have gotten the three clubs from East, and changed things. I don't know. Wouldn't have got South to do anything more. Mm-hmm. Are you keep, are you uh, commentating this one and the next one? I will unless uh, I, I, if if some more esteemed people come, I will give them the chair. <laughs> You're very esteemed, very very esteemed. <laughs> One often never knows exactly who's going to be around. So continuing clubs will probably produce another heart trick. Yeah. And then there's 
the loser in each of the other two suits. So it looks, looks like minus one to me. Right, which would be a push. Get exactly the result from the other room. So this actually maybe maybe it's, doesn't build up a club winner immediately. A heart winner. A heart know. winner immediately because now you can play ace of hearts and a heart right. to the jack. Hearts and the jack, right? You still have some work to do. Though. You got to play, get rid of diamonds. You got to get rid of spades. Is the camera feature on BBO ViewGraph, is that a new thing? It's relatively new. It's pretty cool, I got to say, because I've never seen it before. I've watched BBO, you know, ViewGraph several times, but just kind of on my own. This is really quite cool. So, Diana and uh, Uday, kudos to you guys for um, building this little feature, because this makes it, first of all, it makes it more fun for the commentators. We get to talk to each other. And, um, and it's really pretty cool. Good job. But the next thing to add, I, should, I shouldn't be always saying what more we want, but... Well, no, it's okay to say what more we want so we know what to work on. Yeah, I like no, it a lot, Diana. The, the next thing we want is to be able to record this so that someone can see it afterwards and hear it. Right. Well, if we were displaying this on either Twitch or Zoom or if we, you know, which we could easily do if one of us was on Zoom and then displaying this, then you could actually record it and then send it right. to like YouTube or something. But honestly, no offense to us, but who would want to watch this? Okay. It's, it, it's, um, I actually got a request. <laughs> right. The marketing teams could just live stream in social media. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Which is, I think, what we've been sort of doing in terms of, um, oh, well, he promoted a, did he promote a trick this way? Uh, well, now if he plays he, another club. No. If he, but if, but if he, the Knight of Hearts to the Jack would give, would allow the player to rock their finesse against the 10. Right. But Declare would have stuff, some guessing to do. Yeah. Oh, he didn't play the King of Hearts. Oh, we're doing a lot of undos here. Okay. I actually did get a request from somebody this afternoon who was wanted to know if I think if we could record this after this evening because there are a lot of people watching this from Europe and they want to go to sleep. Right, but my point is you don't – once you know the score of a game, in my opinion, once you know the score of a thing, you're not watching the live replay. I mean, you're not watching the 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 recorded session. You might go through the hands and look at their scorecards and do I, – I do that quite often. I'll, I'll log on and look at the archives and see what they did, but I certainly am not going to watch a commentator in real time, you know, with people yeah. pausing and stuff like that. I just don't think that's – I just don't think that's – very realistic. Oh, what's happened here? Another it's, idea? Oh, he ducked the diamond. Duck from the, 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 the king of diamonds. Wow, so now he actually could not lose a diamond. Right, because the diamond will actually... Well, he, he, has to guess it. he has to guess it. But the nine of diamonds is a is a, is a a big card. And he knows that the guy on the right, the hell, he's going he's gonna to drop his king of diamonds. And he is. Good play, Chip. Also produces the Queen of Diamonds as an entry to take to play to the Spades again. Yeah. So now what happens? He, is he gonna? He's gonna make it. He's on his way to making three. So Rang has had a couple of unfortunate boards. Really, I feel bad for him because he, uh, you know, they didn't bid to the seven Spades, and now he's let a two-heart partial potentially make. 
Well, actually, I think that well, I think that was actually Chip's play on the Queen of Hearts, the Queen of Hearts. That um, I think it was making two at that point. So I think let's let's give Chip the credit for making two, and maybe the defense. I'm giving Chip. I give Chip all the credit for everything. Chip, you can have <laughs> all the credit for everything. There we go, and another spade. All right, so he's just going to lose a spade and a heart from here. He's going to make three. So that's a two-trick swing from the other table. Another five imps to Fleischer. Mm, another cool board. Interesting they played four hard fives and four spades at the other right. table. I mean, there is no slam here, no matter what, as you have, you know, a heart loser and a diamond loser, kind of no matter what you do. Is that true, what I'm saying? I guess if you're in spades. Six spades is not a 0% contract. That's about all you can say about it. No spade losers, then you have to pick up the hearts for no losers and maybe have the queen of clubs on site as well. But I do think one wants to play four spades rather than four hearts here. So how many diamonds will East bid? That's a lot. Makes sense. But it looks like, I mean, it seems like, I doubt South will bid here, but North will find another double, and then South bid four spades, which my guess is what should happen here. I don't think North is going to give up yet. Right, I agree. North is going to double again, and then South is going to bid, I think, four spades. Oh, yeah, why not bid your long suit? That's what I was taught. Of. Which four spades will probably make five, you know, just like it'll be a push. There we go. Yeah. Well, if nothing say, else, if nothing else, I'm a good guesser of what people are going to do. <laughs> right. Better I, than I am. <laughs> I, if I could do it myself, it'd be great. Well, actually, not right now, but, you know, it's just funny. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm... So we're leading... I do the better at commentating than I do at actual play. What's that? I do better commentating seeing all four hands than I well, do... Well, yeah, it's so, it, really is, it really is a nice feature to get to see all four hands. So anyways, I clearly would have figured out where the queen of spades was. You know, I was like, no, I don't think so. It's so much harder. It's so much more intense. King of diamonds. I was going to, I already said they were going to lead the king of diamonds. I feel good about that too. That seems like it was not such a hard uh, lead. So it's going to go king of diamonds. I mean, I guess, is he going to overtake? To shift to something, but he's got nothing to shift to. Yeah, that's the way of saying, partner, I don't want the lead. You can have it. Yeah, exactly. So as it turns out, another diamond doesn't actually hurt anything because there's nothing you can uh, get rid of. Because the, the, right, the, queen, the queen of clubs is on side, so he's not taking the finesse initially. He's going to draw some trumps. Right. If trumps for 3-1, he just might play another one in force defense to play. 
probably, but that's not going to happen like that. I'm guessing is that Declare will come to the Jack of Spades and lead Queen of Hearts through the opening bidder at this point. Yes. You could also play a heart to the nine or run the seven of hearts. Nope. There you go. You were right. I got one right. You got one right. Okay. Next hand. That's the innovation in BBO that I don't expect we'll ever have. The uh, once the hand is no longer interesting for the commentators, we should be able to push a button to say, tell the players to stop playing. No, I don't know about that. I don't think we're going to get that that innovation. That makes, makes a point that, in principle, since we have, well, it's such a delayed view graph, we could just skip this. Actually, we can't do that. Uh, oh, that's if another we have delayed view graph starting half an hour later, because we can't get, we're not allowed to get earlier than the half an hour time gap between the actual play. So this is another uh, crazy one. Cold for seven diamonds. Actually, cold for seven of anything, right? Uh, cold. That? No, cold, cold for the finesse. Seven right. diamonds cold. is actually a very good position for the. Uh, I mean, six diamonds is really six diamonds is. I mean, seven. You know, seven diamonds is on a club finesse. You need the club finesse for seven diamonds. Right. It, and it's. Not a heck of a lot more than the club finesse. It's just, a, it's pretty much the club finesse. And this is a quirk about bridge. You can decide whether it's good or bad. The hands like this can be worth a lot of imps. And you can spend all your time deciding what to bid, but it's really just 50-50 on which side, where it's, which side the king's on today. Okay. Like a hand like this. Well, they got seven diamonds. By the way, they did get the seven diamonds at the other table. Yeah. And obviously the club hook is on since we can see that the club hook is on, so they made it. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, if uh, the fact that he overcalled a spade might make North more concerned that the king of clubs would be offside if he knows he needs some hook. Right. No, and another, do okay, everyone's bidding. I'm, mm, what a hand. So the double, depending on partnerships, God, might just show something in spades, or it might yes. just show there's so really showing some values, which West has here. I wonder if you can look at the bidding at the other table. Just so we can take a look while yeah, yeah, I can find it. Not really. Um East bid two spades. 
Okay, so that see two spades makes it in some ways now you feel like the guy who bid two spades is showing really good spades and not a good hand. And so now the king of clubs is less likely to be mm -hmm. offside. And I can't, I can't really, I think in the, it was basically a case where North Hand had to make a guess. Sure. But the guess when somebody bids one spade versus two spades, right. there is an inference there. So I'm guessing this is exclusion Blackwood. And what does exclusion Blackwood mean for people who don't know is it's asking about your partner's aces and the king of trumps, obviously, which he doesn't need to know, not counting spades. So he's saying, I don't care about your ace of spades partner. Don't tell me about that. Just tell me about your other key cards. And actually, he might have a, a way once he answers key card to ask what kings do you have to know if he has the king of clubs or not. So, unfortunately, North does have the ability to ask for the king of clubs, probably. And we'll right, find so out, we'll find out his partner now. doesn't have the king of clubs and sign off in, in six diamonds is my guess. So five clubs. So four no Trump, I think, would have been no key cards. Five clubs shows one. A lot of people play exclusion zero, three, one, or four. So he's now shown one key card, so, his, so he knows he has the ace of hearts. And now I wonder whether he's going to ask for the king of clubs or just... I mean, one thing, the fact that East was over called Spade and West doubled that seems to indicate a lot of Spade cards East-West. But no, he's going to, now he's going to ask for Kings, which will be a disappointing thing for him to do because it will keep him out. So, okay, so we're exactly, so he got to ask, so five clubs, what the, what was five, five spades? Five spades was probably asking for a king. And six diamonds said, I don't have a king. And so there we go. Now we're playing six diamonds. So here we go. Imps to the other team. Yes. Imps. And the, the running board. score seen here Play seems to be incorrect. Right. That's what they're saying. Uh, Fleischer had 69 at the half, according to the scoreboard, and 69 plus, that, that's very off. No, it's only off by 10. Let's see. I mean, Fleischer's had an incredible start to this. I mean, except for this board here, it's, it's all Fleischer. This board will be the first board where the other team gets some imps, which they need for a little bit of momentum.
So the Fleischer had 69 coming in. They've only gotten 21 this round, this set. There will only be 90. 13, 14, 15. Yeah. If the set well, if that's assuming the 77, 69 score is correct. So I don't who knows which score. Is right. But certainly what we do know is that 11 imps went to the other side on that right. board. I doubt that this is going to be a runaway. So as long as people make sure they have the right score starting the fourth set, that's right. it'll probably be okay. Okay, listen, I've got to go for now. Okay. Um, let me look at what the next board looks like. I always like to see if it's a boring board, I'm going. No offense to the boring boards, but if it's, if it's another 7-5 hand, I'll stay. But then I've got to go, but I'll come back later. So we're not sure exactly what the score is right now, but it's just a couple of imps, a few imps for Fleischer, a very close match. Okay, what is happening? Where is our board? Once again, I just want, I can't tell Jan how much, how great she is and how much we thank her. And Chris Wiegand has done an incredible job this tournament of running everything. I just want to really thank her. She is a, she's an invaluable resource. She is so nice to everybody. People ask her questions. She answers things so well and and so kindly Mackenzie's doing a great job we've had such goodwill and such you know um good feeling in all the rooms i just really want to say thank you to everybody for that so i've taken a peek at the next board and i will tell you it might be a big swing so you might be interested in staying okay all right i'll stay i'll stay i will tell don't you worry. don't worry i don't have anything to do it's all good you know i don't i don't have anything to do. I got nothing to do. I'm chilling. And, you know, I mean, there's really so many people to thank. Al, um, Solly, you know, they sit there. They work so hard. Paul Linksweiler and his team putting together the bulletin every night. I see them when I go down there. They're there every night, late night, putting the, the articles together, getting the pictures Monty, who gets everything done with the hotels. You know, the hotels have old elevators. Nothing you can do about old elevators. The only thing you can do is replace them. You can't even fix them. And, of course, hotels aren't necessarily going to replace their elevators. So it's really, it's just, I see what you mean. So, so, five, you spades, so five spades does not make. Five spades has a club, a heart, and a diamond. But that's a pretty good save. If, it's interesting. It's a red on white save. Except if it's you a pretty good do, save, except that a heart lead, I think, beats five clubs. I was just going to say, does a heart lead beat five clubs? I don't That's know how you could not lead a spade, but you could be right. right. Yes, a heart lead 
Yes, the heart lead most definitely would beat five clubs. There is no way to make five clubs on a heart lead. One, two, you can't do anything. Because the person only has one diamond. So it's not even like you can play four rounds of diamonds. You know, if they had three three diamonds with the second club, they could they could do it. So So obviously, did they get to five clubs and they led the ace of spades? I assume it was the ace of spades lead. I didn't actually check that for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, the auction went one club by south. I'm not exactly sure what it would have showed. Just a one spade over call. Then east spin a three diamonds, probably a mixed raise. South double three diamonds. West went four spades, north went five clubs, and then went pass, 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 and a spade leap. Well, there you go. Now it's maybe not so hard to lead a, sp uh, to lead a uh, heart, You're, unless three hearts doesn't mean that. quite possible three hearts has some kind of spade raise with some particular range to it. So I have to say that I don't know what, oh, three hearts could be a fit showing jump. They do play a lot of fit showing jumps, but I don't know if that's the case. It could also just be a mixed raise. Well, I, it seemed unusual with only a four card suit to be a... A fit showing jump. Yeah, fit showing jump, yeah. I, I sort of agree, but maybe he decided to treat it as, I don't so know. South, South's one diamond promised at least four diamonds just under understanding north bid them i find it interesting that north bid two diamonds but i guess if they promise real diamonds it makes a little more sense i would have liked so it does look according to what people are telling us, is that it's really 95.88. For whatever reason, Fleischer got an extra 10 imps. But the funny thing is that doesn't... That doesn't compute... Agree with, with the, score, the scoreboard. Yeah. Well... The scoreboard could be wrong. Hopefully someone will figure it out at some point. It's not going to affect anybody's strategy at this point of the match. It's not all that important. Well, they can't see it anyways, right? I think South is going to go to the five level after the raise. And I'm sure he's going to give clubs as an option. I think. But if you bid five clubs immediately, West may go five spades. So South and West are on the same side of the screen here. So we cannot tell whether South is taking a long time or whether South has already bid and West is taking a long time or some combination, maybe they're both taking a long time. And those were not the bids I was expecting. We've got a lot of star players here kibitzing. We got Jill Levin is here kibitzing, Rose, Shannon, Janice. I see Jill and Bobby Levin. I think George Middleman. Hello, everybody. Reese Uday. 
So down south, they bid six clubs as a two-way bid. And it would take a heart lead to, I think it takes a heart lead to beat six clubs. It does take a heart lead to beat six clubs. It does, it does. That looks like we're just going to be doubling five spades. Which goes down just one. So this is a pickup for the East-West team. Unless something goes weird and they go down two. Or something goes really weird and they make it. I think that would require a really weird in either case. Well, not that weird if they forget to take their diamond before the Ace of Hearts is knocked out. And then you get to pitch your diamond on the good heart. If you look at South's hand and very unlikely, I grant you, very unlikely. But you know, you gotta, you gotta have dreams. You gotta have dreams. As the declare, you know, you're dreaming of that. Okay, happen. okay, okay. Never mind, never mind. The dream is over. Let the nightmare begin. But it's still a pickup. So I think he's just going to claim down one here. I don't know why he's not claiming. Red against white saves and being right is really pretty cool. It's a very fine line. Well, I'm not sure you get to count this one as, as being right if there was a lead that beats them. Yes, but it's also a double well, dummy lead. Likely lead. It's a double dummy lead. So really yeah. you can't bet, you know, I, I just think leading from queen 10 third is just really. Um... Right. Unless I was wrong in hearts. The heart bid actually does show something in hearts. And and, and, that, and that would be fair. Maybe it does say, but otherwise it's really impossible to lead a heart from queen 10 third. Okay. Nice to see everybody. Oh, nice hand. But I'm going to go for now, but I will be back. Thanks for joining us. Bye for now. I believe this is a 15 to 17, no Trump. They made five diamonds in the other room, which is definitely not an obvious make. Let me let me look. Right, okay, so five diamonds makes East West by with a hard lead by stripping the hand and then play ace of spades in a small spade. And there is nothing the defense can do about that.
And that's what happened. If they land in spades, that's not good. If they want to land in no Trump. Well, they might survive landing in three spades, but as you say, you might as well be in three no Trump for almost the same money. I mean, if North plays no Trump East, we'll rarely be leading our heart when the hearts are 5-3, because he won't have five. And even if West has five, how will East know? Yeah, it's certainly not the contract I'd want to be in. I don't, I don't know why. No, North no, no, no. Bid. It's all all downside. I don't know why North didn't bid. No, just bid no Trump. Yeah, Queen and one heart. So what? It's not like you said. It's not like the guy on lead's going to have five of them. And you'd certainly want to be playing from the north hand, whatever you were playing in. Really, I mean. Uh, you can't arrange to play spades from the north and although you'd want to if you could um, but no trump definitely oh two clubs did show diamonds okay two clubs showed diamonds in that case and yeah well okay then why didn't maybe upbox not allowed to not allowed to bid two diamonds with fewer than three, but I don't know why that would be. Two clubs, good raise plus so convention card out of date. Well, it all looks a bit strange, but we don't know why. Can he make three spaces? I suppose he can. He's got a diamond and a couple of hearts and a club with the fortunate. Uh, Spade layout. I tried playing transfer advances like I overcall and now transfers. I have David Berkowitz and I studied them. We read Jeff Rubin's book. We tried it for one tournament and our we, we couldn't afford the uh, Excedrin headache bill, so we, we abandoned that after the one tournament. We never knew when they were on or off or if it was a raise or if it was on in competition and 
we just gave them up after one tournament. Yeah, I mean, I've seen they're, some... they're one of many good ideas that need an awful lot of work. It's not as simple as just saying, well, let's play transfer responses to overcalls. You you have to uh, discuss an awful lot of situations. And yeah, I'm watching this event. I've seen it get screwed up by some of these players who, who play it. Right. I mean, you see them more rarely than I would think you would see them, because in principle, they, they like all of Jeff Rubin's ideas, are good ones. But... Uh, but I switched to hearts, guys, but uh, Semantic can see that. He fistful of minus eight winners in the dummy. Well, I don't even know if he had to. It's called the uh, useful space principle, USP. <laughs> Another rapid claim, or slightly slow claim by the look of it, but anyway, 140 for a buck. Which I guess even with a hot lead, uh, the spades coming in, he could knock out a club and uh, make three no trumps a possible position for flash it and win some points. Is this the last board of the segment? Yes, it is. Can anybody make a slam on it? <laughs> I doubt it. Maybe six. You got six hearts. Six well, hearts. I see. Yeah. Of, yeah, yeah. I died. I, I, I'd redouble six hearts, I would. Um, ten side of space coming down. King of yeah, I think, yeah. King I think they might. Piece of cake. I think, <laughs> yeah. I, I, mean, I'm not I, I, spoke, I spoke too quickly. I doubt <laughs> it, but yeah, the yeah. eight spades, queen is big. Yeah, do that, do that. Okay, do that. Okay. Well, <laughs> Ooh, there's, there's, there's a little diamond, maybe. Yeah, no, he does. That's what he has to do with this guards playing his, his strong club. I, I'm not quite sure yet that you can handle it all, but <laughs> no, no, no. But I mean, maybe. Put it this way: it's the only slam with any chance. Um, or is it me? I'm looking his worst make. No, they probably can't make six times. Okay, one highly descriptive diamond by North. One. Spade by East, passed by South, I refuse to believe. Or me too. This would be a precision two diamond. No, that will be two yeah. hearts by South, I suspect. Y yeah, this is all out of whack. Two spades, this is all out of whack by, by a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. North, so South will do well to reach four hearts. I'm sure they'll reach four hearts. And now I don't see, if West raises spades, there's a good chance East sacrifices in four spades, which shall be a bit of a mess when he sees that trump break. Yes, it will. Well, yes, it will be a bit of a mess. The question of whether, I mean, the, the vulnerability, he can afford three downs worth of mess. But, well, actually, he can afford, uh, what can he afford? Five downs worth, six downs worth of mess for one imp against 1430 from the other two. <laughs> You're so still going to give him that point in <laughs> I think he's going to bid four spades now. Uh, oh, got that wrong. He's, he's got to it. me. Four hearts is a transfer to four spades. Where, that's an expression we use here um, when the opponents bid four hearts. He's white on red. I would have done it. So you giving them six eighty, David? Well, on this bidding, you might well get six eighty. I mean, he. He's not going to uh, let me. Oh, he's in a bit short of entries, but he only decides to bang down the Ace of Hearts. He's in good shape for 680. I mean, he's bound to pick the spades up. All right, I'll tell you what. Since this is my last deal of the day, I'm worn out. I've done three sets. Uh, I'm going to take 650. All right, come on up, Mark. You can do it. I need some bet. <laughs> You can have 680 and I'll have 650, but I agree. Let's check the double dummy. I, I think it can make 680. You better check the double dummy. I don't I don't know whether he can do it. I don't, I don't see any reason he shouldn't be able to do this. No, I don't like the look of this, though. Well, it's it's saying that they can hold him to five. Well, they can now, I suspect. But that was because... Uh, he didn't bang down the ace of well, I know really, really. I mean, he could have taken a club finesse and a hard finesse, but I, I can understand why he's not doing any of that. 
Well, why can't he make? F how, how are they going to stop him from making? Well, they're going to play too many diamonds. At him. Well, they're not going to play too many diamonds at him because that's not the natural defense. But if they did play diamonds, he would rough it. Hard now he can pitch on this trick, and now he's cold for six eighty. But darn! I saw I had a chance to win. <laughs> yeah, if only Samantha hadn't blown the defense. Mind you, I'd blame Why? the plug for blowing the play. At least I think I would. I don't know. Maybe I should turn on the double dummy server just because I'm not actually analyzing this stuff to see what. Uh, yeah, it says he can make. Is that right? He's, there's a two. That means he can make two yeah. overtricks. Now he so, can. But it, now but it did say. It said that if he's played back a diamond, that would hold him to five. I don't. I don't quite see how, but I'll, I believe. I always believe the double dummy. So the other table's on, on board 10, so it's going to be Still? forever, yeah. Forever. Well, board 10 was, a, yes, this was Versace's flying leap to five diamonds. Or, yes, yes, they do. All right, well, I don't, I'm not going to stick around to see if I win or lose my bet. Uh, <laughs> so that's better that way. Thank you, uh, Al, David, much, Jan, uh, Diana, everybody. Thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you for the nice feedback. I'm sorry I talk so much, but I just have so many things I want to say. What a game we play. What a great game. Bye-bye. Well, I'm interested in winning like that. <laughs> I don't know what we bet. Um, well, for a start, he's got to run this and not and not rough it or anything foolish. But then they'll be in the right hand to uh, make a hard play, or maybe he'll run this round and then take another roughing spade for us. Um, I mean, essentially, he can uh, throw a club on this trick and later throw a club on another spade and rough a club, and then dummy will be practically high once he's drawn the trumps, and then you can play his king of clubs and rough a club and all the rest of it. Yes, queen of clubs and rough a club. Okay, Tenems did come to Fleischer uh, on board 10, as we suspected, so that um, we believe the score now to be 94 to Raymark and 100 to Fleischer, but we could easily be wrong. Meanwhile, look, Mark, <laughs> it's as if he knows how much I have at stake. He doesn't want to let me down here. He's thinking through all his possibilities. Can he throw a diamond on the... No, no, he has to throw a club. He's going to need to, to pitch two clubs and rough out a club winner in the dummy, I think. Of course, he's not worrying about making six. He's, he's going in his head through, well, is there any chance if I lose this to the king and the clubs are lousy and the heart's lousy, I go down in four. Well, that's, that's what he's really thinking about. He's not thinking about uh, his best play for a couple of over tricks and six. I mean, if he ran this and had lost to the king and they played a club through, would he even be on show ground? I mean, but if he roughs this, is he's, he's, he's still not really on show ground for making four. So if everything is vile, like King Jack of Clubs offside. Uh, what could be his... I mean, the contract looks pretty simple from... from uh, just about every point of view, and that's the time when good players think, well, okay, this looks simple, but what could possibly go wrong? He'll feel that uh, essentially the set hasn't been, I mean, he doesn't know, for example, that uh, 
his side lost uh, a big swing on board four, he'll suspect that they lost one on board ten. Uh, he'll be happy with bidding seven diamonds on board eight because that needed a finesse. So it's not a question of him thinking anything about the state of the match. He's, he's just giving it his best shot not to go down in a vulnerable game he could make on some terrible lie of the cards that he didn't cater for. Okay, I think he's still on track for 12 tricks. As long as he doesn't lead the Queen of Hearts off the dummy, that would be a quick way to blow a trick, but... Teams make comparisons after this quarter. Fleischer will be much happier. We won't be much happier. Uh, it was 15 imps. Uh, uh, 15 imps of the score, as it appears on the BBO display, are bogus. We think he'll be leading, but not by enough that he'll buy bottles of champagne for his team to drink during the final segment. Ay, 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 ay. There goes my bet. But at least some dreadful 4 nothing break didn't occur. You'd have thought of it. Well, I mean, if he stood avoiding hearts, he would bid four spades for sure, whatever else he did, so he knows that. Trump's on for nothing that way around. Of course, he still doesn't know that the clubs are breaking 3-2 with the king on side. He does know, yeah, he does know that uh, East doesn't actually have the king of clubs. Because he showed up with the king of spades and the ace king of diamonds and the king of hearts and if he had the king of clubs as well. For such, he would have had about a one count for his raise, and uh, he wasn't prepared to believe that. I do, uh, Larry Cohen, when I see him, but I blame, I blame Hupmuck for concentrating on the wrong thing, like how do I make my game. Anyway, they've still got one, two, three, four, five boards left to play at the other table, so maybe we go over there and have a look. Normal four spades. I do see it's a magical make for six if Wes guesses it, but that is a bad, definitely a bad contract. 
Ah, David has returned. Well, I was over at the other table with... Uh, oh, you were? Okay. Showing, watching these boards being played at a rather faster pace than they seem to have been managed over here, but as Edgar Kaplan said, they have harder problems in the other room. Uh, hey, a triumph for Flannery on board 11. Uh, because I guess after Flannery traveled around to East, he didn't feel like bidding because he knew there were spades to his left, so two hearts was made in this room and not the other room. Spectacular effort by Versace on board 10. Poor old Mistrum, he balanced over a no trump with uh, King Queen Jack, seventh of hearts and an ace and a queen, and the next thing he knew, he was defending five diamonds instead of one no trump, and he couldn't beat five diamonds. He could actually have beaten one no trump if his partner had not a heart. Back at the ranch, um, one spade, two clubs, three spades. Okay, so maybe that's just, I got a solid suit. I got the ace, I got a club control, I got a heart control. Okay, how many aces you got? Or key cards you got? I got, what? Oh yeah, I got three. Okay, do you have the queen of trumps? Maybe you won't ask that. Three spades should show it. But if you're in six spades, will you make it? The, the naive look is that you will get lucky because the heart is on side and then you have to guess a club. That's the first look. Analysis. Yeah, we were saying that if they don't lead a heart, and they might well lead a heart, um, although West keep at them, so maybe they'll lead a diamond, um, then uh, you might as well play a club to the jack because if the ace queen of clubs are both on the side, you don't need the heart finesse. You're going to need a club guess anyway. Right. Good so point. Your percentage might be to play a club to the jack. And if you do that, of course, you won't make. Rowing hasn't bid a slam yet, uh, which is a bit surprising because yeah, he has now. Uh, normally when you bid Blackwood, you know what you're going to do over most responses. I mean, okay, if partner suddenly shows a void. No, they did lead a diamond. So if you're going to take your percentage shot, I reckon that's a club to the jack, and I reckon that's not going to work. Maybe play very early. You also try the... Yes, I suppose you could bang a club on the table and see if the guy goes up with the ace. That's what he's doing. <clears throat> hey, 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 now. No, he did duck. No, your percentage. Okay. Yeah. That's all as it should be. Okay, time to hit the next button. This hand's over. Bang, I see. <clears throat> Wasn't my logic, as somebody is saying. Larry was the fellow who brought the point up at the other table, as you'd expect he spotted that Declarer's percentage chance was to play the way Palmer has actually played. So Palmer will get make we're finding the correct line of play. You will lose points for finding the right line of play. Well, I made 12 and 4 because they let a heart, and uh, so did Clara. Guess the clubs. Another Flannery. Flannery might actually get passed around to West. Do they open two diamonds, Flannery, or two hearts, Flannery? I think two hearts, two hearts. So this, this will be a two-heart opener. 
of us. A lot of trouble around through. the West will be to no Trump, I guess. What happens over that is anybody's guess. There's a possibility that it'll go two odds pass, pass, two no Trump, pass, pass, pass. That will almost certainly make because North won't lead a diamond against it. No, he decided to pass it out, which was questionable. I mean, if it had gone one hard pass, pass, it would have been one no Trump like a... I mean, he knows that partner doesn't have a bunch of spades because left hand opponent does, but still, that's a balanced 16 count. What's a partner supposed to do with some balanced to left? You're supposed to defend two hearts down three and, and, and nine top tricks in no Trump. I, I think that's that's too cautious for, for. Having said that, uh, the other table uh, player got as high as four diamonds, but that was okay. That made two hearts. It's probably well, the okay. and and a chance to duck the heart. There's a hearts will probably be started by a ducking of the hearts or heart to the jack. Kevin Alpert saying quite correctly that. Uh, Leading short miners against Flannery isn't uh, necessarily the way to go. You should try to tap De Clara by leading long miners. Maybe lead Trump if you think. Uh, very, very good point. I mean, Declare is not, the Flannery isn't all plain sailing. He can uh, not take too many, uh, I mean, he wants to, to finesse in spades and in hearts, and he's got one entry to the dummy. Which he has used to take. Mm -hmm. A hard finesse, that's fine. But now, he can't make any more. I mean, he was playing just to split the trumps, which was fine, but when they don't split, he is out of Schlitz, he can uh, a small heart to the jack would have worked better, he has it. Might. But they could play another club, I'm not sure what that does. I don't think, uh, that's the play I was thinking before, but I think it has the same problem that this has. I mean, if you play out the jack and queen and the player club, you can rough it in your hand. That's hopeless. Yeah, no dummies out of clubs, but you rough it in the dummy and know what you do. Or maybe you can come to the ace of spades and draw trumps and cash the diamonds. Then you'd still have one of those. Yeah. Okay, so... Provided... West doesn't pitch a winner, you should be all right. East doesn't pitch a winner.
so uh, if, as we suspect, uh, 15, I think we were working out of those imps that's showing to Fleischer at the moment are a result of the uh, the uh, connection loss earlier, then the score after this board will be 100 to Braymark and 117 to Fleischer. So plenty left to play for. I'm not sure why West is taking time here. He's no, not I think... well, that's weird. I thought he would play another club. It seems like another club would definitely work. Okay, well, that. Some of that was Flannery, some of that was really rather a uncharacteristic play by Chip Martel, but the upshot is uh, half a dozen imps to Braymark, who uh, I think uh, will be trailing by 17. But uh, this is another chance for Fleischer if they can bid 3 no Trump on the north-south guards. We think they can make it. Three spades at the other table was a pretty uncomfortable business, but it uh, it came home okay. The real score is 117-100, yeah. So 17 imps with, what, uh, 17 deals remaining. So an imp aboard for... Braymark to claw back and then we can go into overtime. Well, here will be a normal one spade over call. And now it's sort of up to North to decide how good these things look like. It's just not. Something slightly strange happened at the other table. North bid two clubs, and nobody seemed too sure what that was. But it might bid two spades over it, and Nostrom raised him to three spades, and then somebody explained that two clubs showed diamonds. So, uh, Nostrom believed that it might, at any rate, had rejected a, a transfer to diamonds and rebid what sounded to Nostrum like a six guard space. <coughs> so he raised it to three and uh, Mark passed that and just made it. Okay, uh, same contract a level lower or I mean, it did seem to us that if at the other table two diamonds showed diamonds, there was no real reason for Mark not to bid two diamonds. But as to how you get to three no Trump, I don't really know. But uh, North could just up and bid it. I mean, on this building, 
East, it would strongly suggest it anyway. Queen and one heart, who cares? East won't have five of them. And why would he lead one if West had five of them? At this point at the other table, he shifted to a trump and Rang's done exactly the same thing. Trying to look like a man without the queen, but not fooling anybody. And that will make the play pretty quick. Yes. I'm still doing the play in three no in my head. Let's see. Whether it can be beaten, I'm not sure. That's why it would be very hard to. Well, I mean, if North would declare that, there'd be nothing to do. If South somehow became declarer, they could lead a diamond, I guess. But even that, yeah, no, that, that might give them a shot. They could lead a diamond and shift to a heart. But North playing three, no Trump. I don't think that could. Or maybe no, a heart, no. lead, heart of the king. Maybe that would do it. Anyway, nobody who's in 3 no Trump, whether they could beat it or not, I suspect that North could probably still make it, but might not. One board to come in this third quarter. We think the score is 117 to Fleischer, 100 to Braymark. Uh, we thought that uh, North South were cold for six hearts, which is true. Uh, we didn't think they would bid it, which uh, is also true. They didn't. And um, I'm ashamed to say I lost a bet with Larry Cohen. I was betting that up Mark would make 12 tricks, but Larry was betting it only make 11. And it was in the balance for a long time. He uh, won the opening spade lead uh, and had 12 available at that point, but he played a diamond, so now he was down to 11. But West won that and played a spade back, so now he was back up to 12. And he thought for a long time and ran that around. And now he was still making 12, but then he played the Queen of Hearts from Dummy and it was all gone. <laughs> so 6.50 for Mark and I or Larry Cohen, whatever we bet <laughs> when I see him. That's all fun conversation, but in case anyone was looking, North South is not even going to be thinking about slam. No. It's, and it's an atrocious slam. It's not just bad, it's atrocious. Well, when East opens the bidding, there's a sporting chance he'll have the King of Hearts and the King of Spades. I agree the King of Clubs is a bit of an imponderable, but... <laughs> We've made worse, put it that way. Transfer responses to overcalls—that's what they play. Well, transfer responses after overcalls. Sorry, this is this is 
East over calling and South bidding two diamonds to show hearts. And I guess facing a pass down North will just give himself four. That would make sense to me. Whenever possible, you shouldn't give extra information to defense. Well, not till weighing up his options for a while, or maybe there's some questions and answers going on and he's explaining stuff. I mean, I guess he, he might only... What? No, he didn't do that. Don't tell me he did that. Okay. Two? Two? Oh, no. Don't tell me they got to balance the opponents into game at this table as well. I mean, it'll go north south working on this game if he's passed. Yes, they were. Well, I still can't imagine now at least inviting with north hand. If I saw the two diamonds showed five hearts. And those, I mean, okay, maybe it would be an exaggeration for North to bid four hearts, but three hearts looked sort of dead center. Well, and if that happens, that'll be the second time... Uh, Remark have balanced the opponents into a vulnerable game this session. So despite the fact that if it does happen, Fleischer will take a 17 and bleed into the last quarter, if they've managed to avoid doing both of those things, they would actually be a couple of imps ahead themselves. This hasn't played out yet. Palmer hasn't uh, decided whether to pass three diamonds or bid three spades. If he bids three spades, uh, I think uh, North South will be through. Um, but if he passes three diamonds, then North will certainly bid three hearts, and as Gavin Walpert said, South may then think, hey, my partner got four hearts and a singleton diamond, and I've got this. Well, uh, I mean, we talk about discipline and all that, we pass ourselves out and we don't normally reopen a men bit game and flash it. I mean, I don't understand, I mean... Hang on a minute, we're not through. <laughs> Maybe West can have been three spades. I can't imagine West bidding now. One more chance. I'd like to know the implications of it. I mean, I mean, we only know that two diamonds is a transfer response, but couldn't two hearts be sort of an average hand with three hearts? Yeah, yes, it could. Yes, yes. I mean, you wouldn't bid three hearts with an average hand with three hearts, but it, it right. Yeah. No, but just that initial two yeah. hearts seems absolutely no. South had a clear cut pass over three diamonds. But over three hearts. And, um, I also suggest it might even be a two, even a two card said, yeah, right. This is, this yeah. Is, North has a lot of playing strength for this. 
Well, that's why I was amazed he only did two up. So I thought he right. was part of three. Gavin, did you say this was going to be a boring last hand? Put it this way, uh, turn him swing to to Raymark on this board, there'll be a seven at margin, we think. Uh, going into the final quarter. I mean, even 17 is a close match, but seven, that's, that's not much. You know, I mean, he knows his king jack of clubs are pretty much junk if his buttons got five, five in spades and die. He doesn't know they're absolute junk. That club doesn't have to show honors. This partner could have ace on a, on a club and a small singleton heart. Then three hearts and three spades could both be making. I mean, north and south are not bidding very much, which means maybe east could have a, a big hand. I mean... Uh, did he have as much as ace king pits of spades, ace king pits of diamonds, and uh, ace of clubs? Could he have eighteen? They don't play a strong club, I don't think. That's right. It could just be a parts score swing for that. From from West's point of view, yeah. I mean, yeah. his partner overcalled a spade and then bid three diamonds all by himself. Um, I mean, and he's got a diamond fit. He's got three spades. He's got a king of clubs. That might be a card or it might not. You wouldn't blame the guy for bidding three spades. It's not as if it's going to get a thunderous penalty double all past down 500. Right. It might get a thunderous penalty double all past down 500 on this layout. But if his partner has ace, king, fifth of spades, ace, king, fifth of diamonds, even just that, the opponents have hinted that the hands are actually relatively balanced. That's He passed, okay. Well, uh, what's the difference? 200 is 10 imps. 230 is only 9. So that 12th trick that meant so much to me might mean an extra imp to or save an imp for flash. I don't know what the minimum for South spitting is to make that transfer a bit. No, I don't either, but I'm just still pretty surprised that North only bit two hearts.
Alpha for sure, is... Sure. Fleischer leads 118 to 110. Okay, so he... So he lost the full turn on this board. He scored only 200. I say only 200. That's probably all he was getting. And uh, actually, I thought it was 117. But of course, they finished half an hour ago in Chicago. They know the score. So eight imps. Fleischer will take into the last quarter of uh, the 2023 Spring Gold, which I have to say has been an awful lot of fun and to watch as a... Well, he guessed hearts, right? Yeah. I mean, he's in three. He doesn't care. Oh, Mark took a long, long time to play for because he had to think about terrible breaks, King Jack of Clubs offside, say, and, and uh, you know, ways to go down in four. It looked easy, but there are always pitfalls. Here, I don't think he's got time to make 12 tricks. He needed to set up... Uh, no, he's, he's done it. He's on his way to 12. Oh, the ten of spades is dropping. Sorry, I'd forgotten about that. Yeah, yeah. I wish he'd been playing for me in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark was hopeless. Well, that's the system which the two have operated on this. But it I... was on the table claim that it was. So 118, 110 it is. I don't know when they'll be back, but I'll probably have gone to bed. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, uh, Al, yeah. for the invaluable system advice and so forth. Good luck to everyone for the last quarter. Yeah, thanks a lot.